What's up guys, it is T-Ball, and I am back with another video. Before I start, if you guys leave a like and subscribe, if you're not subscribed already, your support is greatly appreciated as we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you're not subbed, be sure to hit that sub button and turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. And also, be sure to subscribe to my second channel, which I will put a link to that in the description below. So today we're going to be breaking down how Jamal Crawford fits with the Los Angeles Lakers. So for a quick background, there have been news that the Clippers want Danilo Gallinari and a breakdown on him will be coming soon. And to get Gallinari, the Clippers would have to trade Jamal Crawford to clear up some cap space. And in the trade, it will be a three team trade between the Clippers, the Nuggets and the Hawks. And Crawford would be going to the Hawks in a salary dump. However, Crawford doesn't want to play with the rebuilding Hawks, so he would request a buyout, and when he gets it, I assume he would. There have been reports that he prefers to play with the Lakers and stay in LA, so say Crawford does in fact sign with the Lakers, let's just see how he would fit with his new team. So for Crawford, he would most likely play off the bench in a six-man role like he did in LA, or with the Clippers in this case. I believe Clarkson would be the starting shooting guard, and Crawford would come off the bench in a scoring role. However, he could play with the starters at some times of the game as well. He could provide, as I said before, scoring and playmaking off the bench like he did with the Clippers. And he could also come off the bench with David Nwaba. I think that's his name. I didn't watch the Lakers too much, but I'm pretty sure Nwaba is more of a 3 and D guy. And Crawford playing with Nwaba off the bench would provide a great mix of scoring and defense for the backup guard positions. And I believe those two would provide um, some nice offensive and defense off the bench and would be basically a great fit. Also, what's really cool is if Crawford and Ball play together at some times, that would be a lot of playmaking and scoring in that unit from the guard positions. And both of those guys can play off each other with Ball being more of a passer and a three-point threat, while Crawford is also a three-point threat, a great ball handler, playmaker, and he can also drive to the rim as well at some points with some crazy acrobatic shots so i definitely think they can both play off each other and both could as i said before shoot the three so they would both be threats in that case and it would just be really fun to watch both of them play together and just expect a lot of scoring and lack of defense from both of those guys in that case to touch upon defense really quickly obviously jamal crawford is old and he was never a good defender in the first place so his defense is pretty terrible as you guys saw um, last season with the clippers off the bench he was a defensive liability. However, he had DeAndre Jordan, who is a great defensive player, behind him. So when, you know, um, the guy he was guarding would drive past right by him, at least they had DJ who could just block or alter the shot. And with the Lakers, they do have Brooke Lopez, but I don't think his defense is as good as DeAndre Jordan's. And I know, being a Nuts fan, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to laugh at me for that. But um, I watched Lopez a lot last year and, you know, years back from that as well I did watch him and he was good on defense and protecting the rim but what I didn't like was his pick and roll defense where he struggled a lot in and all teams incorporate pick and roll offense in their scheme somehow or some way it's you know probably the most common offensive play in the NBA so uh, Lopez has trouble guarding there so if Crawford and Lopez are stuck in a pick and roll situation on defense Let's just say it's not going to turn out really pretty at all. So, um, yeah, but expect bad defense from Crawford. Expect bad defense from the Lakers in general. But if Crawford does, in fact, join the Lakers, you know, I definitely would like to see their offense. It'll be very fun with Lonzo Ball, Crawford, Clarkson, uh, Ingram, Randall, Lopez, all those guys. It'll be very fun to watch all of them on offense at least. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers, so be sure to keep it up, guys. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe. You won't regret it as I will be putting out some great NBA content throughout the rest of this offseason and throughout the regular season. For the regular season, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I'm probably not going to do... Um, just recaps of every NBA game, just going to do breakdowns and topics on just what happens if some guy is struggling, some guy's doing well. I'm just going to break down why they're playing well or not playing well and other analysis and stuff like that. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video and have a great uh, 4th of July and just have a great one. Peace.